Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here. Uh, Eric from Action City Comic Books just messaged me to say that he bought five long boxes of 80s and 90s comics. I think it's Marvel and DC stuff. And uh, he asked me if I wanted to dig through it. So, heck yeah. <laughs> you say comic books, I come running. So I'm gonna help him sort through them, maybe pull out some stuff for myself. And uh, just, if I see any key issues that I don't want, I'm gonna pull them out, let him know so he can put them on as well. And uh, I think it's gonna be fun just digging through some comic books. So I always appreciate when Eric lets me know he's got something awesome for me to dig through. All right, we're here at Action City Comics. Okay, so we got five long boxes here for me to dig through. He said he hasn't pulled keys yet. So as I go through, I'm gonna pull out all the key issues I see. And if I see anything I want for myself. All right, let's start digging. Uh, oh, Super Supergirl's kind of cool. That's for myself. You guys can also let me know if I miss something because I can tell Eric to grab it. Adam, I think somewhere in the 40s is the key issue of that. I just want to finish. Uh, Prez Wonder Woman's always good. Oh, Hunter's one. That one's gonna have some value. I have it already. I'm gonna pull that out for him. Four, flash eighty four, or seventy. I'm sure I'm missing something. So you guys just let me know if there's something of value that I'm skipping over. Two uh, around there is the first kilowog, I believe. Okay, so far this box is so so. Cool stuff in it. I think that's a first appearance. Which I have already. But I'm gonna pull that. I'm just doing this cool. plus bucks all day. Oh, yep. There we go. Not the best shape, but definitely has some value. These are just going to be sellable right now because of Peacemaker. Oh, number 10. I suspect that one will have some value. Uh, Dr. Fate 1. There's going to be demand in that right now. Brian Bowen covers on that series. Uh, I can't if it's near that issue. It's not that issue, but that's the second appearance of Drawing a Blank. Batman's always worth selling. Yeah, I have all these, but these are worth pulling out to put in the bins. Uh, Doom Patrol number one. It's kind of some value. If he has a 19, that would be awesome. That one's not in great shape. Cool comic, though. This one's in 59. Have 
think I should be grabbing the swamp things. Uh, that's cool. Oh, that's a. Uh, I think that's a key. Yeah, all of these. So much. Hmm, a little bit too beat up. Love that stuff though. Okay, not in the greatest shape, but key issue, I believe. Just uh, kind of too beat up. some issues I gotta I'm just gonna pull out I know there's a couple of issues of value in that run uh, first Amanda Waller I'm not in the best shape but cool comic uh, I have too many copies of it oh, oh this is the Second appearance of oh, Crazy Jean. Beat up, but I want that one. Oh, first car in her. That's cool. A $10, $15 issue. Batman. I think those might have a little value. Okay. Okay, box two. Oh, G.I. Yeah, Joe 22. Bad value. You might buy that one. Let's go with Avengers. Alright, I'll pull some of these out just so it's a little bit easier. Mary. Alright. Some of this is cheapo stuff. Uh, I think she's going up. She'll be in the Marvels movie. Awesome Daredevil. A couple bucks. Not super valuable, I don't think. Right. I'm getting my out from because I'll be in demand at the moment. I wonder if they have the first squirrel girl on here. Silver Surfer. Maybe. That's cool. Give me a inspector door. I think these you should have out. Not mint, but worth a few bucks. Oh, 
went to bed. Beat. Alright. Ooh, okay. First Infinity Gauntlet, I believe. Awesome Walter Simonson cover. I love that one. Crimson Galaxy. Love that cover. That's a cool comic book. but still cool issue. Ooh, that's a nice key issue. It's got some value. Genders. The high number GI Joes. Don't see those too often. Shoot, I feel like I gotta pull those out from. At least the nicer ones. Some of these are a little beat. Ones water damaged. These two are maybe. Yeah, 
the one he said it was in there. That's a good issue. Wonder if that one's still selling. First Great Lake Avengers. Three is a bit damaged. Okay, so my camera died while I was digging through the comic books at Action City Comic Books. Uh, but I did finish going through all the boxes. I kind of helped sort out what was like kind of the better stuff, the key issues in another pile. And then I pulled up this stack of comic books for my own collection. I believe I paid $1.50 a comic book. And there was like three or four comic books I paid a little bit more for. Okay, let me show you what I picked up. Okay, first stack of comic books. I tend to like when I'm digging through a, a box and I can get comics for a good price. I tend to like to grab a lot of the genre stuff. So anything like war comic books, romance comic books, that kind of stuff. Stuff that it's a little bit harder to find normally. That's the kind of thing I like to grab. So we got Men of War 16. And uh, Men of War 26. The Joe Kubert covers are cool. Uh, he had a couple of these first packs. Uh, he asked me if they're worth anything. Not really. I don't think they're worth much. But um, he gave them to me for $2 a pack. So that's really cool. So we got this. I'm going to just leave them sealed. I think I have all the issues already. I just thought it was kind of cool to get them in these original little packs. I don't think they're worth anything. But I just thought they were kind of neat. Uh, okay, and then he had a bunch of Wonder Woman. So I'll grab the... I like to grab the Wonder Woman because that's one series I like to put together. And I don't see them as often. 
So I like to pick those up. So we have Wonder Woman 311, uh, 261, 301, uh, the X-Men Chronicles. I like that cover. That's a cool cover. Uh, Marvel Fanfare number 34. Charles Vest cover. I like his artwork. Uh, Conan 274. I like grabbing higher number Conans because I don't see those as much. Same thing with G.I. Joe's. G.I. Joe 139. Uh, Conan 254. Now all these are, you know, they were kind of beat up. They're not like mint comic books, but they're not terrible. They're just mid grades. Conan 254. Uh, what if the Mighty Thor battled Conan? Number 39. That's cool. Uh, Master of Kung Fu number 77. This is another series I need to work on a little bit. Uh, Swamp Thing number 10. That's cool. Love that one. Okay, next stack. You have uh, DC Comics Presents 37. Brave and the Bold 164. Sergeant Rock 318. Now, the, a couple of these are a little bit lower grade, but that's okay. Uh, George Fry's Wonder Woman number 38. I think I pulled out all the George Fry's I'm putting to the side, but for some reason I felt like I needed that one. So I gotta double check. Uh, Wonder Woman 273. Wonder Woman 272. Wonder Woman 271. Uh, Wonder Woman 293. Wonder Woman 278, uh, Wonder Woman 319, Wonder Woman 296. Okay, those are cool. All right, next stack, we have more Wonder Woman. We have uh, Wonder Woman 326, 315, what a fun cover, I love that one. Uh, 317, 304, always kind of like that cover. Uh, 260, 318. 316, uh, Supergirl number 3, John Carter, Warlord of Mars 28, uh, Master of Kung Fu 123, Wonder Woman 307, Doom Patrol number 36. I had to double check. I believe this is the first full appearance of Flex Mentallo. I had like kind of a stain here, but I think this is one of the ones that I gave him either three or four or four and this one i also gave him three or four to four it's the first appearance of the great lakes avengers uh again not like mint but for three or four bucks that's worth picking up and then i think this one was another one i gave him three or four for gi joe 18 that's awesome i love the low number gi joes those are some of my favorites gi joe number 22 so those i think that one that one that one it, this one were four dollars each or either yeah i think those are four dollars each i forget he kind of let me just pick out the price as willing to pay i was like yeah i'll pay four dollars each for those and everything else i think was a dollar fifty uh master of kung fu 105 number 81 i like picking these up for a buck or two so this is awesome number 80 number 79 uh supergirl number 21 amethyst number one i always pick this one up when i see it just i think the artwork's really fun inside it's really fun cool artwork so yeah that's a cool comic book and then one more stack from Action City comic books. We have uh, House of Mystery number 281. That's a really fun cover. Uh, Swamp Thing 82. Love that cover. I thought that cover was awesome. Uh, DC Comics presents 36. Wonder Woman 302. Wonder Woman 308. Wonder Woman 289. Wonder Woman 288. Wonder Woman 286. Wonder Woman 285. Wonder Woman 325. It's fun to get a whole bunch of these Wonder Woman. These uh, like early 80s, maybe late 70s through mid 80s Wonder Woman. I don't see these as often in collections. And I think I need a bunch of them. Uh, Wonder Woman 328. Number 295. Number 277. Number 276. Uh, number 275. Number 314. These are falling over a little bit. Uh, 313. 321. 299. Uh, 250, a little bit of an older one. And 306. That's a cool cover. Okay, so that's everything I got at Action City. So when I was done at Action City comic books, digging through the comic books that Eric got in, I uh, I decided to, on the way home just to walk through the park because it's nice to go through the park. And there was a guy set up with tables. Apparently he was moving pretty soon and he had like 10 long boxes of comic books for sale. So I dug through the long boxes and I found some cool stuff. So let's go through this whole box of comic books I bought from him. 
The first stack from the guy that was selling in the park. Uh, I kind of wish I had my batteries charged because it would have been fun to film just a guy in a park selling comic books. <laughs> so I bought a whole bunch of these all new Wolverines. Uh, I think we agreed on $2 each. So these are all $2. It has a couple of wear spots on it. So I don't think they were absolutely near mint or anything, but they weren't terrible either. And for $2, why not? Uh, all new Wolverine annual number one. That's a cool looking cover. I like the artwork on that one. Uh, number 10 from the series number eight so yeah this is a series i want to put together i don't think he had any of the or he might have had two variants that he was going to sell to our friend so he pulled those out but just getting a whole bunch of the common issues for two bucks felt like a really good deal on there uh fallen angels number four really awesome david nakayama cover love that one i might have that one already but for two dollars you know i'm happy with that uh fallen angels number one uh, and then the X-23 series, which I didn't have any of these, or I might have, like, one. Uh, $2 is not, like, they're not really uh, more than cover price at most. So $2 is about the right price on them. But still, it's half cover price. So it's, like, not terrible. So I'm happy with that. X-23, number 11. Number 8. Number 4. Uh, okay, and then this one was a really cool Jen Bartel variant. So I think this one had a little bit of value. He might have charged me a bit more for this. Maybe like $6 or $4. I forget. Love this cover though. That one's awesome. Uh, Years of Future Past, number four. Really awesome Arthur Adams cover. Love that one. That was two bucks. Uh, number five, also Arthur Adams. That one's also cool. Two bucks. Uh, Monsters Unleashed, number four. I just grab all these because I love the covers on them. Uh, number five. So is that, I, th I think they're all just the A covers. But $2 each felt like a really good price. And then number one for two bucks. He kind of wanted five for that one, but we looked it up and it doesn't really go for much online. So I decided $2 was okay. Okay, next stack. Yo, know, and if it's a cool newer comic book or, you know, something that I want, $2 just feels like a great price. So Monsters Unleashed, number three. Uh, Miss, these all had Miss Marvel. I kind of want to get all the comics she's in, so I'm happy to grab those. Uh, number five, Variant Edition. That one looks cool. I don't know if it's worth more than two bucks, but $2 I think was a good price on that. Uh, number six, the Venomized Villains variant. That one's cool. Uh, Years of Future Past, number one. Another Arthur Adams cover. Love his artwork. Uh, number three, another Arthur Adams cover. Uh, number two, a really awesome Arthur Adams cover. Love that one a lot. Uh, Secret Wars 2 variant cover. Really thought that was a cool Thor cover. And you have you know Jane Foster Thor on the cover. So I thought that was an appropriate time to buy a cool comic like that. Uh, All New Wolverine 35 number 32 looks a little dusty not sure if it's dusty or if the cover the cover might just have a little bit of wear on it uh only one ring 25 number 21 number 20 uh number 15 yeah so a lot of these i needed really happy to fill in this run now i just have to track down like the really hard variants that are really hard to get and expensive uh okay number 12 number six uh, number two, I think number two actually has a bit of value and it's the first appearance of someone. I forget who it is, but that one was cool to get for two bucks. Uh, Fallen Angels, number five, number two. Yes, yeah, so I was happy to get those. Okay, next stack. So, yeah, you know, it was just a lot of stuff to fill in this run. You know, these three or four series, but I was just happy to get them for a good price. X-23, number one, number six. Uh, just a virgin variant. Forget the series. Lois Lane number one, a really cool Jenny Friesen cover for two bucks. That was nice. All New Wolverine 34, number 29. Uh, number 25, a How to Draw Wolverine variant. All New Wolverine 22. Number 20, it looks like a variant. A little bit of rub again on the cover, but that's okay. Uh, All New Wolverine number 16, number 11. Number five, uh, X-Men Red, number eight, a cool Jenny Friesen cover. I almost always pick her stuff up. If, if I don't think I have it, I'm going to pick it up if the price is good. Maybe even if it's like full price. And if I have it already, if it's like a dollar or two, I might just pick it up to put in my store. Because I think they're cool. I like having them for sale in the shop. Uh, Fallen Angels, number six. Cool cover, number three. Kind of a sucker for a good Psylocke cover. So I'll always grab anything with her on the cover. Uh, X-23, number nine. X-23 number 5, X-23 number 
And uh, Lois Lane number two, a variant cover I thought was cool. Okay, and then the final stack from the park. We have all new Wolverine number 33. That's a fun cover. Uh, number 26, Terry Dotson cover. Number 24, number 17, uh, number 13, number 9, number 7, Squirrel Girl appearance. That's fun. Uh, number three, that one's probably worth a bit more than two bucks. So that was good on that. Uh, Weapon X number 11. I think this one he charged me a little bit more for it. He said it was like the first appearance or something. Not 100% sure, but it's a David Nakayama cover. I wasn't going to you. Awesome cover. Uh, X23 number 10. Uh, X23 number 12. Number 7. Number 3. Number 31. No, only Wolverine number 31. These were in order when I bought them, but I think I took a bunch of pictures to show my friend Sean, so they got kind of mixed up. But I'm going to put them back in order. All new Wolverine 30. Number 27. I think that's a Terry Dotson cover. Uh, number 23. Uh, number 18, Venomized cover. That one's cool. That one might have a bit more value. Uh, number 1. I think one he charged me a little bit more for. Yeah, I think the last ones were the ones that were like, maybe including that one, like 4 to $8 each. Uh, Angela Asgard's Assassin number three, a really beautiful variant cover, Noto artwork. Uh, that one might have been five, I think. Uh, Wolverine number 25, this one might have been five or eight, I forget. X23 number one, a beautiful Jen Bartel cover. I'll buy any cover that she does. I love her artwork. Uh, this one, I think you might have wanted eight for it. It might have been eight or five, I forget. Uh, all new Wolverine number one, the really awesome hip hop variant. This one might have been 10. And I think he gave me a really good price on that one. Uh, and then Miracle Man number 15. Uh, if I remember correctly, I had like a little tear right here. So he was willing to give it to me. I think it was like 15 bucks. So it's still a really good price for the condition. But it wasn't like if it was near mint. It's probably like a 60 to $80 comic book. In this shape, it might be like a $30 comic book. So he kind of gave it to me for half price, I believe. Awesome comic book. Really happy with that. So it was a really cool pile of comic books I picked up from the park. All right, that was a ton of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.